Hey, hey, listen, listen. Hey, you, listen to me. Listen to me, okay? My name is Arnold, okay? Today we're going to be working out. We're going to be a champion. Arnold's watching an impression there that no one asked for. Plenty more where that came from, my friends. Welcome to the start of week six here. Week six in the Hero 2 program. I hope you're feeling your best self ever. If not, you're going to after this one. Holy moly. As ever, my name is Jasper. Welcome to the channel. Today's upper body session, I'm going to introduce you to uh, something I love called the hot start. Now that is where after we've mobilized the joints and we're feeling a little bit better, we're going to kick off the session with um, a bit more pace than we might normally. All right, call this the hot start, call it whatever you want. Um, this is basically going to be our, our six minute uh, AMRAP window that you might often find at the end, but we're going to be um, just putting three exercises together back to back. You can work for as much, uh, as much as you like within that window. Shouldn't have to rest too much between these exercises, so it should allow us to accumulate two to three rounds within that small time frame. Getting really warm, sneaking in a bit of isolation work, so then when we come into our first sort of block of main strength training, this being the press today um, and the Penlay row, uh, we're feeling hot, warm, in the game and ready. After a long day, um, like I've had, and you might have had as well, sometimes it's nice to just throw yourself on in and get fired up instead of sort of just easing into things. It can go both ways, but I really like this dynamic and I think you will too. So we're gonna be doing that with the plank walkout to push up. Again, with that push up, you can drop to the knees if you need to. Uh, we're gonna be doing the hip to halo, so getting some core rotation in there, some shoulder rotation, and indeed the bench fly, which could be performed on the floor as well. Okay, the repetitions will be up on your screen as ever. We're then gonna be coming into an advancement on that glute bridge bench press. Last week we did this on the floor. You may well want to do it on the floor again today. However, you are gonna see me elevate my shoulders on the edge of the bench here. Now this is gonna make this a little bit harder to maintain the bridge as well as giving me more range of movement because my elbows aren't gonna be touching the floor. They're gonna be going to the outside of the bench um, than previously. So this gives me a bit more challenge there. Again, you can pick whichever variation is gonna work, uh, make the most sense for you and your setup, sorry. And then jumping into that pendle row, we did the pendle row last time, that is the explosive row from the floor. However, today, I'm just adding in a slight rotation with the grip. Oftentimes, we'll do this with a barbell in the gym where you've got an overhand grip. Last time, I was just with the dumbbells neutral. However, today, I'm just gonna try and rotate so I finish in that pronated position and then naturally rotate back to the floor. So just a tiny bit of a twist there, okay? To keep challenging the body uh, in different ways. Uh, and then as we come into the rest of the session, we've got that giant set to finish, okay? So this one more block after that. Forearm plank row to sneak in some core work there off the edge of the bench. If you don't have a bench or anywhere to elevate that forearm, you could do this on the floor in a renegade row position or any single arm row position you'd like if you prefer even down to the knees if you did want to get in that bit of extra core work uh, okay uh, we've got some deficit push-up negative so I'm elevating my hands on the dumbbells if you find push-ups still pretty challenging you might find just doing negatives from the floor uh, plenty challenging that's fine I'm just elevating my hands to get a bit more stretch and challenge there and then finishing with the overhead tricep extension so those triceps are going to be screaming because they don't get a lot of rest there that's it for me my friends I'm amped to be getting tucked into this work. I know I'm gonna feel better, because I'm feeling a little sluggish right now, I can't lie. Uh, and I know you will too. As ever, I'll see you in the comment section below to hear how you got on today. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Thank you.
three, two, one. 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 Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, 
Three, two, one. 